Once you've created your sitemap, you can move into keyword selection process. Now with your sitemap, you should have what we would say was the title of your book, which is going to be your website, your chapters, and then your individual pages of the website. Now, I'm going to use an example of a current website that we're building in-house at seo.cc. The website is called Defeating Diabetes. This would be the title of your book, DefeatingDiabetes.com. Then from Defeating Diabetes, the first chapter that we're actually going to have in the book has to do with types of diabetes. So we're going to name our first chapter Types of Diabetes. And I'm placing hyphens in between each word because the search engines read the hyphens as spaces. Now, for the types of diabetes, we're going to make individual pages. There's going to be an individual page about, for example, type 1 diabetes, and then we're going to move forward into type 2 diabetes. Now, when assigning keywords to each of these individual pages, I'm going to first talk about the book. Up here, I'm going to talk about the overall diabetes topic itself. So, the title of your book could have, for example, as a keyword, information about diabetes, types of diabetes, different things that you're going to find throughout the website, symptoms of diabetes, treatment of diabetes. Then you're going to go into your chapters. This chapter in particular, types of diabetes, I'm going to have keywords that have to do with types of diabetes in particular to draw the search engine into the topics of type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes, and further pages that are going to fit within my chapter of the book about diabetes. Now I'm going to move down to my pages and if we look, we have type 1 diabetes. Now, for some of the keywords that we might like to put in for type 1 diabetes, you might want to take the number 1, use actual the numeric number itself, and also write it in as 1, as a keyword. Now, when you're writing your keywords, you want your keywords to be seen as phrases. They're not actual words themselves. They're actually phrases. So type 1 diabetes should be one word. The way that you're going to write this keyword in your meta tag should look as follows. I'm going to erase up here and rewrite how your keyword should actually look within your meta tag. You should have, in all lowercase, because most people type lowercase in the search engines, type 1, diabetes. This is actually one keyword. Then we're going to have type 1, diabetes, still on the actual page about type 1, diabetes. And I would only recommend approximately three to four keywords per an actual page. And then you can go into here and add another, a third keyword, and say types of diabetes. And then add the number one. The reason that we wrote the search result in this way is because what will happen is some people might actually go to the search engine, type in types of diabetes, not find what they're looking for, then actually click back and add the number one. This is a method that I would advise to help you distinguish which keywords to assign per page within your website.
for organic search engine optimization.